We have elected our new president and it's a new era, folks. This ship of America has a new captain and we're sailing into uncharted waters. The question is, are you ready for this adventure? Welcome, I'm Kathy, your voice of reason in a world of chaos. And today we're diving into the man who's changing everything, Donald J. Trump. We'll talk about his challenges, his resilience, and why he's still the only one standing tall. Let's get to it. Today's ceremony, however, has very special meaning. Because today, we are not merely transferring power from one administration to another, or from one party to another, but we are transferring power from Washington, D.C., and giving it back to you, the people. That was Trump on day one, Inauguration Day. And let me tell you, that statement wasn't just a promise, it was a warning shot across the bow of DC's establishment and their bureaucratic cronies. From the second he said those words, they knew he wasn't gonna play by their rules. This was a president who said, I work for the people, not the swamp. And the swamp declared war on him. They threw everything they had two impeachments, relentless media attacks, and even an FBI raid on his home. But Trump, he's still standing, and it all started with that promise. Let's rewind for a second to help you guys catch up if you haven't been on the Trump train. When Trump took office in 2017, it was a completely different world. Pre-pandemic and pre-lockdowns, today we're living in a world we barely recognize. From the cultural battles, the global shifts, and the chaos, it feels like everything's upside down. But here's the thing, the seeds of this chaos, they were planted long before 2020. And if we wanna understand where we're going, we've gotta take a hard look at where we've been. And that's what today's show is all about. Let's be honest, Trump didn't just step into office, he charged in like a raging bull. And let me tell you, he wasn't there to make any friends. His policies weren't just bold, they were a direct threat to the cozy little arrangements the establishment have going with the media. And by arrangements, I mean NDAs, hush money, and backroom deals. Deals. So let's talk specifics. The travel ban. They couldn't scream racist fast enough. Never mind that these were the same countries flagged as threats under Obama. The media spun it into a Muslim ban and the outrage machine went into overdrive. Then there was the Paris Climate Agreement. Trump said, nope, we're not signing a deal that punishes American workers while letting China skate by. And suddenly, pulling out of a bad deal was the end of the world. Now let's not forget the border wall. Remember AOC's crocodile tears clinging to a chained fence, so heartbroken over border facilities? Yeah, girl, the same ones built by Obama. She's a great actress, I'll give her that. And while we're talking about things that drives them absolutely crazy, can we talk about Trump's bromance with Elon Musk? Oh, they're so jealous. Trump and Elon together, that's like their worst nightmare. While Elon's out here fighting for free speech and flipping Twitter, now X, on its head, the left is clinging to their billionaires like Oprah and Mark Cuban, who they have to pay to show up. And let's be honest, Trump's billionaire is just better. It's like they can't stand that Trump and Elon are rewriting the rules and they're not invited to the party. But here's the thing. They hate Trump because he delivers. The Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, it put more money in Americans' pockets. The USMCA trade deal, it gave farmers a fighting chance. Deregulation saved small businesses billions of dollars and manufacturing came roaring back. The numbers just don't lie. Manufacturing jobs returned, farmers got fairer deals, and small businesses finally caught a break. According to the Tax Foundation, Heritage Foundation, and NAM, these policies worked. But did the media report any of that? No, of course not. They were too busy making Trump the villain. Trump isn't just a man on a mission, he's a force of nature. He's assembling his team, shaking up the system, and giving the left the latest reason to lose sleep and their minds. But this isn't just about him. It's about the people, moms, dads, workers, patriots, those who still believe in the promise of America. Join me next time where we'll break down Trump's blueprint for 2025 and beyond. What's the plan for draining the swamp this time? How he's reshaping the Republican party? And what does it mean for the future of this country? Subscribe, share, and join me next time. Let's cut through the noise and tell it like it is.